Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week's video, we have something really special for you. Today, a whole bunch of our friends, cousins, and uncles, kids' uncles, my brothers, are coming up, and we're gonna, they're bringing their snowmobiles, and uh, we're gonna have some meals together, do some outdoor cooking, maybe hit the sauna. We're gonna have a ton of snowmobiles here, so we're gonna have a lot of fun on the lake. We're just gonna have a, an amazing uh, winter experience and show you how much fun you can have out here in the winter at the island. So a bunch of the guys are gonna be staying at the main lodge and we'll show you that in a minute. We're gonna go get a fire going there, kind of heat the place up. It's not really winterized like our cabin, but if you have enough guys in there and we put up a blanket on some of the colder doorways to keep the cold out and get a good hot fire going in the stove. And I think Uncle Ben, my brother Ben and his kids are gonna be in their cabin. So let's go up there and get a fire going. Alright, so this behind me is what we call the main lodge. It's actually where my mother and father stay when they come up here. The kids, Opa and Oma, as we call them, which is kind of a Dutch version of Grandpa and Grandma. And we're at the top of the island here. And as you can see, we haven't been up here much or at all this winter. The, there's deep snow drifts, but we'll get everything kind of cleaned up and shoveled up, I'm sure. Uh, we'll probably get a fire going here at some point. But uh, this was the first building built on the island and uh, kind of, yeah, we call it the main lodge. Let's go inside, get it warmed up and uh, show you around. All right, so this is the main lodge. There's a room off there and a whole section over there with uh, another room and a bathroom and so on. Like I said earlier, it's not really fully winterized, but we're going to get a fire going in that wood stove. And between that and just having a few of the other uh, extremities blocked off, we'll be able to get lots of nice heat in here. And as you can see, there's tons of room. I think the guys are probably going to line up mats and just sleep on the floor. So yeah, let's get the fire going.
All right, so this is the sauna room, and uh, I'm gonna try and clean this up and get it all ready for when the boys get here. And then uh, maybe, like, if we know they're coming in like 30 minutes or so, I'll get it starting to heat up because it usually takes like an hour to an hour and a half to get to the uh, right temperature. So I'll get it going before they come or whenever we end up going in. Should be up here. Yeah, I like that's good. Should not be like over the fire. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, no, high enough to get the heat from here and then the aroma. So Carol found this online. It's another Finnish uh, utensil for the sauna, and in there you put a bit of water and some eucalyptus oil, which she got, and uh, just helps make it a great experience. So I think I'll put it around here. That's it. All right, can't wait to use the sauna later today, tonight, maybe go for a polar dip or even jump into the snow. There's some good snow banks out here. So this sign was uh, made by a YouTube friend of ours, someone who watches our channel in Michigan. His name is Russ and he goes by Camping Russ online. And uh, he must, I guess he has the, the equipment for cutting this out, so he made a beautiful moose and uh, it's going to welcome our guests to the island. Alright, so we got a text and uh, the boys are running a little bit late. Um, they should be here within the next hour or so, which uh, isn't all that bad because we had a lot uh, longer to heat up the place and it's really getting warm in here, which should be nice for them. But uh, uh, once we get the 30 minutes out notification, I'll light the sauna and get her all prepped and ready to go. All right, so uh, we just saw the headlights of the boys and can kind of hear their skidoos in the distance. I don't know. You should uh, head into Green Lake. It's just been Wasn't thick worth, snow uh, forever. Oh yeah. Because it's never really melted yeah. there. Hey Pitt, how you doing? I see like a, I see a little tail light and he's like trying to follow it. I had open eyes. Yeah. yeah, we've been going on a bunch. No, no, you guys have like an icy path hard trail right Yeah, yeah. we have been trying to maintain it. on the bed. <laughs> my face is killing. I know, that was a dumb idea, eh? Like, your helmet's on your belly. I know. <laughs> Why are you not <laughs> wearing it? Because I, I thought it wasn't going to be that cold. It, it's only like minus 11, right? With no fire in the <laughs> sun. <laughs> oh, wow. Was he not just wearing it? Just still still on that, uh... Oh, someone's helmet. These are oh, foamers? <laughs> Did you I was about to buy the same ones at Royal. They're, be so they're beauty. They go to negative 70, I think. What a weekend. I can't wait. Oh, Get him back here. Get him back here. Uh, yeah. Lenny comes running up and eats him. Sean. Yeah. Pete, you want to help me start that, Jenny? Yeah, from uh, falling on the 
I am softy. Yeah, oh, what's up with the huddling? Oh. You don't have to worry, we can see much of faces. I'm gonna edit out the voices. Blur the faces? <laughs> <laughs> Blur the faces and edit the voices. Well, do we need big pieces or little? Like, is there Smaller is better, but. Really? Yeah, not too long either. If you can help it. Okay, like wake up every hour to stop the thing. Yeah, that's kind of best. Uh, what's your uh, truth? Would be better yeah, cool. help with your chicken that already makes my fear opponent and oh, Wilson. Um, Wilson, why did I say Wilson? <laughs> Just because it's Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop running. <laughs> Back at the cabin, we're gonna head to bed. It's about 1 a.m. now. Get ready for a fun day tomorrow. guys what a beautiful day it's just sun shining through and <laughs> reflecting off the snow the trees are covered in snow the temperature is just beautiful uh, almost everyone made it in last night uh, unfortunately we got to text some of my brothers aren't gonna be able to make it up this weekend but a lot of the cousins are here and friends so uh, it's gonna be a wonderful time uh, it's gonna be a little noisier around here than normal, but that's all part of it uh, with all the different snowmobiles We're gonna have a lot of fun, but I'm gonna get a fire going here first and then like Carol's got uh, a bunch of ribs that we're gonna do for lunch And so we'll get those laid out and get them all dry rubbed and between open fire the barbecue and the smoker I think we'll have a big uh, rib meal going The conditions look great. Okay, I got the fire going. We're gonna have to get a good bed of coals there uh, before we can cook on it. Now I'm going to get the barbecue up from under the snow. It's hooked up to our main propane system so that'll be one method of cooking and then I'm going to start up the uh, smoker here which is an electric Traeger which will run off of our battery battery system so let's get them all going. It's going to take a while for everything to warm up because it's chilly and they're all buried in snow. So you hear the Traeger in the background, it's because it's completely frozen um, and that little auger is trying to go around and around but uh, last time we used it in this temperature it took a few minutes and then it was up and running once it warms up so it should be fine. If you're ever uh, buying a cleaner for a barbecue, get one with these, uh, there you go, Traeger just warmed up. Get one without metal bristles because uh, a really good friend of ours had a bristle fall out. They're so small you couldn't see it and it was in the meat that he was eating and ended up in his intestines and had a, quite a painful operation to get it out of there. So be very careful. All right, so I let some um, pinto beans soak overnight. I have some on the stove top and then I'll do the other half on the fire. Um, I got this really neat recipe from Doc Roberts, thank you very much, and a bunch of really cool uh, seasoning for our ribs. So I think it's going to work out perfect. I'm going to do a whole bunch of different style ribs, like from some on the pellet smoker, some on the barbecue, and then some on the actual fire in the Dutch oven. So hopefully everyone likes it, and then I'm going to be making a potato salad. So. This is really fun. It's like a winter fest with all the cousins and a few friends. And uh, I better start cooking though. That's uh, mesquite wood. My favorite flavor of smoke from uh, normally found in the south, especially in Texas. Love that smell. After a good night's sleep, the guys were anxious to get up and try out their snow machines on the freshly fallen powder.
Peter just helped me remove all the silver skin off the back of the ribs and now I'm just gonna hit it with some of the seasoning. I have some pecan, maple, and then original. Um, I did squeeze some lime over it about a half an hour ago and let that sit on the ribs. So we'll get these all seasoned up and then put them on the smoker. So good. Alright, three on the smoker, three on the barbecue. We're gonna have three over the open fire and uh, let, let them get some smoke and some heat for an hour or so, and then I'm gonna wrap them and uh, continue cooking them. Give that a couple hours. Get those ribs nicely uh, cooked up. The three different methods produce three different tastes, different results, but all three are going to be delicious. Another hour and a half will be perfect. Been on smoke for an hour. I'm gonna get them wrapped in some heavy duty tin foil and that'll just let them uh, get to the next level of softness. And we really want these fall off the bone and just completely infused with flavor. Then you can't pull it further. Yeah, like, I know. It was just he held it. He drove it. Oh, and don't then, do that. While the ribs were cooking, we decided to set up the ice hut and let some of the young fellas try their luck at ice fishing. Top? Is that the roof? That's the yeah. wall. Okay. There you go. Ah. Nice. It's all set up. That's pretty nice. Well, we do at home, so. Me and that, me and Dolph and stuff just climbed all the way to the top of it. Yeah. We should try that bit. There's a mic sticking into the a giant microphone. Let's make everything. Oh, there's another guy here. Oh, shoot. That is a lot of ice. Who wants to go swimming? So just swimming down, swimming down. I'm going to touch it and hug it. You want to touch it? Closer. 
Soon the meal was ready, and it was time to enjoy a feast of potato salad, cowboy beans, and barbecued ribs. So basically you just come get a plate, in here we've got some uh, beans, cowboy beans, Carol's famous mashed potatoes, ribs, we got lots out there. Yeah, and then uh, there's your forks and there's lots of seats out by the fire. You want them? Well, there's charges in the cabin on that battery pack. Yeah, but. Yeah, it's not the same. Oh, where is it? We're okay. really not sure. Are they? Are these pennies? Can I grab. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, they eat the best. You know the food is good when everybody is not talking. <laughs> After a hearty meal, it was time to ride the snowmobiles into the sunset. As the sun sets over the horizon, the sauna is lit and beckons us all to the perfect ending of another incredible winter's day at the island. After a nice ride on the snowmobiles, the sun's kind of set. Dan and Sean have been carrying wood up from our cabin up to the sauna up here and getting it nice and hot. So. I think a whole bunch of the guys are going to be getting in here tonight. I don't know if we're going to cut a hole in the ice, but where we've been driving with the snowmobiles and the snow itself is probably going to be cold enough. So this is going to be an exciting time. What? 
That's the real life. Right there. <laughs> That'd be such a good video in the shorts, cut nice with a yeah, chainsaw. Oh, muffins. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Oh, just from two eggs. No way. Two eggs No way. Get in close up that. Take a bite. Get that scruff in there. Wait, who is going to the water? Me and Fred. Everyone. So the We're going in the ice before the sauna. Dry. Stay there. Come on, buddy. Duncan. So the guys have gone in the sauna. Everyone's having a good time in there. I gotta go get changed now and hop in myself. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.